Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we're gonna be speaking about Saucy Santana and Beyonce today. But before I get into that, I do wanna say I did make a video a while ago where I spoke about Saucy and his career, but I mostly talk about him, um, his rap career, Nicki Minaj, the City Girls. That was primarily what that video was about. But in this particular one, I'm focusing in on Beyonce. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, let's get into this video. Woo! Saucy, 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 saucy. Oh my goodness. Um. So as you guys know, Saucy Santana's rap career has not been going anywhere. Like. And he was making a whole, whole lot of noise when he was linked up with the City Girls. He was actually doing better than the City Girls at one point, in my opinion. Like, the City Girls were kind of laid low. They kind of weren't doing too much. And Saucy Santana was all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over this and that. The blogs posted him every goddamn day. There was a new person doing the walk challenge, the this and that challenge. And he was everywhere. Everybody knew who Saucy Santana was. There was no avoiding him at a certain point. But you do know that classic thing happens when you get bigger in the industry, a lot of stuff starts to go on and sometimes resurface tweets, audio, pictures, videos will come out on a person from when before they were famous, right? And that's what happened to Saucy and there was a whole array of tweets, okay, that came out of him dissing Blue Ivy and Beyonce and it just, it just didn't go well. Actually, here, take a look at some of these. Okay, so here are the tweets. I cannot play the full video because there is an audio that would get me copyrighted. So, so let me just do a little song for you to pass the time in case you're trying to read these. Y'all ho, y'all know that you can you talk a lot of shit, but let me see if you could walk. Uh, let me see you walk. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me stop. Okay, moving on. So basically, as you could see in that clip, there was a whole bunch of tweets. And basically when these tweets came forward, Saucy Santana doubled down on the tweets. He basically said they were from a long time ago. He's not apologizing for them. Y'all about to stop being woke on him. Y'all are about to stop trying to control him saying, oh, he can't do this, this and that and the third. Just because I'm a celebrity and y'all are the fans does not mean that you could try to control me or try to get me to bend to your will. Like he was being very stubborn. And it's like, okay, I can understand being stubborn when you're right. Or I can understand when people are actually trying to pressure you into doing something that is like, it's not important or you were in the right or, you know, you don't let people bully you. You don't let fans or viewers because I don't because some people in my comments will be saying X, Y, Z, but like, I don't give a flying fuck about unless I'm actual, actually wrong about something or I did something offensive or I said, you know what I'm saying? But that's different. Any other time y'all can shut the hell up with all that extra stuff because I don't care about it. So it's different in that context but in this context saucy santana was wrong he was wrong and he didn't want to take any responsibility and it was stupid of him to double down on those tweets because does he not know who beyonce is i understand he is new to the industry i understand you know he wasn't making music for long he hadn't been famous for long i understand all that stuff but um i'm sure he knows and knew prior to being famous how powerful beyonce her family and her team is like i'm sure he's heard the rumors i'm sure she is rumored to stop careers santana you know what i'm saying like she's a powerful woman and on top of that the beehive doesn't play i mean they're really quiet though you know what i'm saying they're quiet they're not they're like silent but deadly Ooh, that's a good because I don't hear a lot of noise about the beehive online in terms of like them fighting with people, arguing with people, being hateful, being bashing, da 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 docs. I don't hear that stuff like that around the beehive, but it's like once it's time for them to act, bitch, then you hear about them. Much like Beyonce herself, very quiet. She moves stealthily, she moves strategically, and she don't make a lot of noise. And that is exactly what happened to Saucy Santana. After he was doubling down on these tweets, basically telling, you know, Beehive to, to eat a butt, basically telling the general public to eat a butt, and basically telling his fans to eat a butt, 
that's when, not too long after that, there was a courtside game and Jay-Z was out there and Blue Ivy was with him he had came out with her and in in regular context like okay so he brought his daughter to a game but no 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 blue ivy hadn't been out she hadn't been out at all there was no pictures you know how like right now she she's been on tour with beyonce she was um at the grammys you know what i'm saying like she's out right now you see more pictures and videos of blue right now than you know usual no she was not out Beyonce and Jay-Z and Blue Ivy were not out. They were at home or doing whatever they was doing, minding their business. But after all of this uproar, because it was a big uproar on social media with the whole Saucy Santana thing, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and them must have saw it. You know what I'm saying? They must have saw it. And then basically the fans were saying that Beyonce sent Blue Ivy out with Jay on purpose with her natural hair out at that. That was the... (laughs) That was the kicker. That was the part that let everybody know that Beyonce was directly responding to Saucy Santana about the comments that he made about her hair. And I was like blown and everybody was like blown like, damn, Beyonce be in the loop. She might not say nothing. She might not, you know, be out on social media, but she sees everything. She knows what's going on. I doubt that she, you know what I'm saying? Her in this country music shit, you know what I mean? Obviously, she's in the loop with things that are going on outside, even though she don't be outside like that. You know what I mean? And, oh, when that happened, everybody knew it was Dunzo for him. And then the neighborhood talk, no, not the neighborhood talk. I lied. I'm sorry. The shade room had posted that, you know, Beyonce or Jay-Z and Blue Ivy were outside and she had her beautiful hair. And then Saucy Santana had the nerve to like comment on the post and said, oh, yeah, she looks beautiful. Oh, people tore him up. Oh, people tore him up. They were like, oh, so now you're going to come and say she looks beautiful when you had all this shit to say and you didn't apologize when you said it the first time. But now you're going to come back and double around and say that she looks beautiful. It it was weird. The energy was weird because all of this was over a child. Right. And I think he did say some things about Beyonce, too, but it was mostly directed at Blue Ivy and how Northwest looked better and all of this stuff. And I get that was before he was famous, but he was still a grown man when he said all that. Oh, hell no. This is what y'all were talking about in my comments? How are you going to sample Beyonce and then talk about her and her child? Lord Jesus. Y'all, this is why I keep talking about digital footprint, y'all. Back with us in the Bay and here at Chase Center tonight, 24 time Grammy Award winner, the one and only Jay Z. Back with us in the Bay. The whole situation was a gag. The whole situation was a gag. It was strategic as fuck. It was clean as fuck. They ate that. When they did that, they ate that. And literally ever since then, we have not heard nothing. I don't know if anything happened behind the scenes where maybe she told somebody XYZ about Sasha Santana. Don't you ever put him on another stage. Don't you ever. He was performing with Madonna. There was a point in time he had a thing with Madonna. Now... It's like, he no, he had to have known better than that. Like, that's crazy to think that. He could talk about the literal music industry in one person, Beyonce. And then her family on top of that. And that nothing was going to come of that. That, that nothing was going to happen to him. Ooh, he was optimistic. Ooh, he was optimistic. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation, but that's what I think happened. That's what a lot of people pretty much know happened, child. But anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Pray for Saucy, y'all. Bye.